I was born and raised in France and I traveled to Caribbean islands, Guadeloupe and Martinique when I was a child because my parents were born there. So this is where I'm from. Uh, the first time I lived abroad was in Togo, then I lived in Congo, Brazzaville, and now I used to live in Ghana. Let's say I live in Ghana still because I'm still here. Um, the image that we have of Africa in France, I will talk about where I used to live, where I was born and where I grew up, but I think mostly in Europe as well. Of course, it's influenced and is devaluated. Um, we see Africa in Europe, in France. We see misery, we see poor people, we see diseases, we see uh, heat. Um, okay, but still, maybe smiley people, okay. Black people, villages, dust. Okay, this is not what you will find when you will start traveling Africa. This is not what you will remember about. Um, I think that I know and I've met people that are more or that feel more miserable and sad in France <laughs> than I've ever seen people in Africa. Here, people are resilient. You wouldn't know what they've been through, but still, the way they will host you and receive you and smile at you is just... Well, they know that life goes on. And I think We have a lot, a lot of things to learn from here and there's a peacefulness and there's kind people and people help each other and it's something that we lost in the old continent. It's something that we lost with indiv individualism. It's something that we lost with safety, security and comfort zone. So I don't know where's the right balance because here people also struggle, they have their own troubles over there too. Um, but here is inspirational, <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce this word, sorry. <laughs> um, I think we have a lot to learn. I think people here have to have access to more opportunities, more knowledge, um, more tools, because they have the talents, they have the skills that just need to be developed, that just need to be emphasized. Um, and I think that's what will happen in the coming years. There's going to be investment, there's going to be Returnees, repats, diaspora, locals, there's just going to be people who are going to start and who already start investing for this continent to shine as it's supposed to, as it should have been shining. <laughs>